what is up guys welcome back to another video so today we're going to talk about hulkling we have him as a six star rank two for now and we got suicides but we're definitely going to make another video that is going to be rank three with and without suicides uh, just the damage there but in this video we're going to keep him at rank two and man i watched the deep dive i found i found him so cool and he was he seemed like complicated but he's actually very easy to uh, use so I'm going to explain the abilities in this first fight. And then I'm going to talk about uh, a couple of rotations. So let's go fight with the shoulder. Okay, so as you can see, we got some cosmic charges. They're called shapeshift charges. And we gain one of those every second. And the cap is eight. And basically, we spend those to build up our buffs. So we consume one of those shapeshift charges to gain our buffs. And as you can see, I parried four times to get four bulwark passives, which give me more uh, block proficiency. And then I spent the others, the other four, and I did medium and light attacks to build up my aptitudes. And here, if I hit him in the block, let me do the heavy attack. The heavy attack basically uh, puts an intimidate debuff on them and makes them more defensively. So if I do five hits in the block here, you will see I got four pierce charges and if you do five and if you get four pierce charges you basically become unblockable for like two seconds and as you can see that's like very quick damage and that, that, those are all the buffs that i can get offensively and also if i get hit here you will see that i am going to consume those shapeshift charges to get regen so let me get hit not by the special attack though let him do a five hit combo see he hit me four times, which means I spent four of them to gain four regions. So that's pretty decent. And then if I go for a special three, we had two bulwark passives. And if you have at least two bulwark passives, you pause two of them for the remainder of the fight. So as you can see now, they are paused. I still can get four, but two of them are going to become paused for the rest of the fight. And if I didn't have those Bulwark passives, and let's say I had the aptitude charges, I would pause two aptitude charges for the minute of the fight. And then if I didn't have Bulwark or aptitude charges, I pause two pierce buffs instead. So basically, if if you have like the Bulwark, if you, if you got, let's say you got all, all three of those buffs. First, it will pause the Bulwarks, then it will pause the aptitudes, and then the pierce buffs. So that's the order. So if you just want some damage, you don't want to have bulwarks um, to just pause aptitudes instead. So as you can see, we got two buffs paused right there. I'm going to stall a bit, so I want them to expire because I want to show you that two of them are paused. So let's wait until um, the bulwarks and the aptitudes are gone. So there you can see the aptitudes, two of them are paused. And then let's wait for the bulwarks to expire. We need one more to expire. And there it is. See, they are completely paused. So another thing to keep in mind is that even if you got the cap, like if you got four aptitudes or four bulwarks or four um, of the other buffs, um, you still spend charges so you can see my shapeshift charges even though i have four aptitudes i still consume them but i don't gain my buff see i just refresh the timer and now if i hit him uh four times in the block let me oh, okay let me do the heavy thing because i want him to um block so here we got the pierce buffs and now after this special three i'm going to have all three buffs paused two aptitude two pierce and two bolt works and that's basically what you want to do in a long fight because you want to have those buffs because the more buffs you have the more damage you do with this guy so let's just wait out for the aptitudes again the bolt works and the pierce buffs just so you guys can see that two of them are paused see all of them are paused the aptitudes are not going anywhere, bulwarks are not going anywhere, all or the other, the pierce. But we can still build them up to four. So I'm gonna activate the special one. And basically, basically what this does is it gives me 
shapeshift charges faster as you can see way faster so that's what you want to do basically what you want to open the fight with and now as you can see we got two of those indestructible charges they're grayed out so that means if i get hit twice i'm gonna become indestructible for a little bit see i think that's uh yeah you gotta get hit eight times in order for that to activate and then with my special two if i am unblockable i gain one more fury buff so by activating the special two you gain immediately gain one fury buff but if you are unblockable during this attack you are getting another one so that is really good uh, because if you have those aptitudes your fury effects are gonna have more potency and that's how you get your damage so now i'm gonna go for the shorter fight rotation and then we're gonna jump into Rab labyrinth of legends star lord so i can do uh pretty much the same rotation like earlier because like you want to build up your buffs with a special three because like longer fights you definitely want to have those buffs up so yeah now i'm going to pop a special one when i get it because i want to act actually get more shapeshift charges and keep in mind if you hit the opponent you're not gaining those because they are paused you're only getting those if you're not doing anything if you're just standing there so right now i want to parry a little bit more get those ball works want to get four of them for sure and also by activating a special one your your buffs are getting paused for like uh, the duration of the special one and also um two seconds after but only those not the furies or the region and stuff indestructible so now since i have four of those um buffs i want to do this and then if he blocks which he will we go for the special two and look at this damage man how quick damage that was no crits and that was like 60k and then look at my medium attacks how they're gonna uh, hit here see that's like 13k with a crit this is a six star rank two and you can still go for that same rotation again here didn't have any charges shapeshift to activate the unblockable so definitely want to watch out for that let me parry a couple times get those four ball works and then i want him to block a little bit and there we go now we're gonna become unblockable and two furies let's see another big special two although here i didn't have the aptitudes so definitely want to do that here see definitely want him to block there there we go now we just gotta wait a little bit to build up those shapeshift charges and then i want to hit him four times in the block become unblockable and the special is gonna give me another fury see that's like very very clean damage very good And then we can do the heave attack thing again. Make sure he blocks. Oh. Well, sometimes it doesn't work. <laughs> but that's pretty much it for the uh, shorter fight rotation. That's what you want to do. But yeah, man. Like, how many hits was that? Like, 84 hits with 6 rank 2 without any synergies. I found that pretty impressive, man. Very, very impressive. Let's go ahead and do that one more time. See if we can make it more clean that time because i think we got like pretty unlucky with the chris on the special two here but let's do that again so basically if you don't have those uh shape shift charges you just chill and you get them it's not bad so now i definitely want to activate a special one to get some more you can see we're building them up so much faster now for a little bit get those aptitudes Oh, they are paused. Now, now they're not, though. We activated the unblockable there. I didn't really want that to happen. But since we got to the special before the unblockable expired, we still have pretty good damage there. Very good damage, actually. Look at those basic attacks, man. They're hitting so hard. Because four aptitudes, two furies. Amazing. Okay, now we're just going to chill a little bit. Build up those shapeshift charges. So this can work great if you're trying to bait out a special or something. Because you're just building up your buffs, basically. Got three ball works here. Now I'm going to want to get the aptitude again. Back and running. And now become unblockable. And that should deal a lot of damage. 15k, 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 15k. No crits there again. See if we get some crits. Maybe he has like low rate at the critical rating. That's probably what what's it. But that's good, man. If he crits, you can see, wow. That was a very good heavy attack, man. So good. Let's get those again. 
Okay, I want her to block a little bit. Thank you. Get those pierce buffs. And then one more hit in the block. We're going to become unblockable. Five hits in the block is um, becoming unblockable. So let's just wait out a bit. Do one more hit. Become an uh, aptitude. Oh, no. Well, there I got a lot more power than I wanted to. Because each time you get a buff, um, you get 7% of bar of power. So that's how I got to especially very quick. Because this guy actually has a quite low combat power rate. But because of this ability, he gets a ton more um, power. So yeah, I messed up a little bit of the rotation. But let's see what we do on the Labyrinth of Legends fight. Since we're going to have the class advantage. We'll see. And then this special is going to give me only one fury because I'm not unblockable. But it's going to be enough. Man. I really like this guy's rotation. He's kind of like suicide friendly as well. Because basically, like the special one makes uh, the um, shapeshift charges a lot faster. But you don't have to. You can just uh, chill a little bit. And yeah. Like he's poison immune. So I quite like it, this guy. I want to get him. Let's see how he performs in the Star Lord fight. So there, uh, in this fight, I'm going to try and build up uh, three of my buffs. So two Borworks, two uh, Pierce, and two Aptitudes to pause them for the remainder of the fight. So we keep our damage. So we're just building up to the special three here. We don't really care about our, our charges here. We just want to have the Borworks uh, before popping the special two. And also, if you don't have any Pierce, any Aptitude or Bulwark buffs uh, with a special three, with a special three, you gain eight of those Shapeshift charges, which is a cap. But yeah, it's really easy to get those buffs. So now I want to parry twice, get two Bulwarks, and then after this special, the special three, they are going to be paused. It's a pretty cool special three as well, man. This guy is looking like a Nihilus. His wings. I like this guy. Okay. Nice. So now those are paused. Two of them at least. Unblockable. So clean. Still dealing a lot of damage. Like without any Furies. That's that's good base damage, man. That's like the Aptitudes are not doing anything on their own. So that's like basically your base damage. Because you get a lot of buffs. Okay, so now we just wait out the shapeshift charges and then pause two of the aptitudes. We got four, so two of them are gonna get paused. And then next we gotta pause two pierce buffs. Because again, the more da the more buffs you got, the more damage you deal. More attack rating you get. So they are paused. Now let's build up to another special three. Nice, nice. I really like his heavy, uh, his heavy attack uh, debuff. It's very unique. I'm definitely gonna make um, a video for maybe like a block penetration path to see how he does there. So see how he's being passive? Like it's actually working. Okay, we got four Pierce. I'm gonna wait a little bit. Oh, there we go. It actually works because <laughs> he uh, got me to a special three, and now two of the pierce buffs are going to get paused again so that's good now we can just go for special twos while we're unblockable and that's basically all of our damage nice okay i'm on th i think i'm gonna go for a special one so that i can pause them and get those shapeshift charges faster it sucks because we cannot power this guy now because it's limber and labyrinth let's see let's see if we can bait this fast thank you I don't want to hit him with the block here because I don't want to become unblockable earlier. And I want to. Nice. Um, let's parry twice. Get those ball works. Parry that. Parry one more time. And then I want to hit him with the block. Become unblockable. And that's a lot of damage. 22k. 22k. See, now that it crit, that's not bad at all. That's a lot of damage, man. 14k and you can see in the block we're actually destroying him because those pierce buffs they give us block penetration so man this guy this guy is good man this is pretty good like he doesn't have like cgr uh, level damage but his damage i think it's it's enough damage to deal a lot of damage wow <laughs> what did i just say it's enough damage now again two furies 
See, like, apparently his crit rating is not that great. But man. Very, very simple rotation. And the damage is enough, for sure. He can compete 100% with other champions. Because he's, like, very easy to get it, too. Like, I just hit him four times, become unblockable. And since my aptitudes are lasting so, so much time... Great, man. That does great damage. Honestly. I don't think we're going to do the whole fight. That's so good. I like this guy's rotation a lot. Let's get our fourth uh, ball work. Now I just want him to block. There you go. Unblockable. Two Furies. 15k, 15k, 50, or 23k, 23k. Nice. That was so much better. 14k with a medium. And again, 6 star rank 2, guys. Can't wait to see how he does at 6 star rank 3, man. So sick. Don't want to become unblockable yet. Now I can become unblockable. So I should get to a special 2. There we go. 23, 15k. So that's like, again, like we're seeing the same numbers. Because that's like the most damage that he can get at this level. Because we got all of our buffs. We got a lot of aptitudes. We got the two Furies. So that's basically uh, as much damage as he can get. Okay, let's parry twice. Get those full port works. And there you go. Oh, I didn't parry there. Not nice. He blocked there, so that's good. Let's see. 15k, 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 23k. See, that's like the same numbers again. Killing that from that region as well a little bit. Just wait out. Actually, I'm going to pop a special one. Because we need some more of those charges. Nice. We are unblockable. So sick. Can parry twice. Get those ball works. Hope I don't die. And here we're going to become unblockable again. And let's see. 15k, 23k. See exactly the same numbers. <laughs> and we have 1% health. We are going to drop pretty soon from recoil. Ah, uh, that's it. We dealt like 15% damage on this guy, which is basically 1.6 million health with 233 hits. And that was quite fast too. That was like um, 5 minutes or 5 five minutes and 30 seconds. That's, that's not bad at all, man. Like, it, it, again, doesn't have like black cat damage or... Um, Kitty Pride or CGR. But this guy's damage is definitely enough to compete with a lot of champions. Like, this guy's utility is insane. You can become unblockable with like 5 hits in the block. If you get hit, you get a little bit of a regen, a little bit of an indestructible. Um, you got crazy block penetration with those pierce buffs, aptitudes. So, man, buffed up, and this guy is crazy. He also can do that node. Um, with, with like the, the Mr. Sinister boss in 6.2, I believe, where it's a caustic temper node where you need to be poison immune and have furies. This guy has it, uh, it has everything. He's both poison immune and shock immune. Shock immune, there's not too many champions. So shock immunity and poison immunity, very, very good utility. He's also immune to power drain, which I forgot to mention, power burn, and uh, his heal box, that he, the heal box that he gets, um, the duration is decreased by 2%. So yeah, man, this guy, very good, man. It's so easy to keep up those buffs. And if you just uh, want to get those, um, how they're called? The shapeshift charges. You just pop a special one, get them twice as fast. Or you just chill, and then you build up again. Again, it's like super easy. You just hit in the block, hit him with light or medium, or, um, or parry. And that's your buffs. Again, I think... Uh, the 3 sp3 rotation in longer fights is very useful because uh, there you guarantee at least six buffs two ball works um two pierce and two aptitudes which is very nice because as you can see here he says that um he gains more attack rating for each unique buff that he has and right there you guarantee three of those unique buffs so yeah man that's like pretty much the rotations again short fights build up the special one get your um your charges for aptitude and for bulwarks, and then when you're when you're close to the special two, hit him five, five times in the block, 
you can actually use a shave attack uh, utility uh, which applies uh, which inflicts the opponent with a non-stacking intimidate debuff which is the first time we're seeing this and that basically makes them less aggressive so they're probably going to block you can see this guy blocked as well again sometimes it's not going to work but most of the time it's going to work and that's going to give you a an opponent that's going to be blocking five hits in the block special two and remember he gains a ton of power when hitting the block as well because you're building up those uh, pierce buffs which means whenever you build a buff you gain seven percent of bar of power and then you can immediately go five hits in the block become unblockable sp2 get two furies and with four aptitudes you're gonna hit very hard so yeah man i quite like this champion can't wait to do a six star rank three gameplay with and without suicides but yeah i really want to get this champion so yeah guys i hope you enjoyed this video if you did please give it a like subscribe and i will see you in the next one